Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to show you some of the school supplies I've picked up for back to school season this year. I know the video is a little late, but better late than never, am I right? I'll try to link everything that I can find down below, so check the description box if there's something you're interested in. There is also an international giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for the details of that. And now let's just jump straight into the video. So the first thing that I bought is probably my favorite thing in this haul, and that is the Unipropus window highlighters. So the reason these highlighters are really popular is because they have a little window inside the tip of the highlighter, and through that you can see exactly what you're highlighting, which is super convenient. I've been meaning to try them for a while now, but I really didn't like the colors, and this year they came out with brand new colors. They are pastel and gorgeous, and I'm just so happy with them. I just can't wait to use these highlighters for school. I also decided to try out a few new pens this year. So the first one was the Pilot G2 pen. I've heard a lot of great things about it and I can confirm that it's an amazing pen. It writes super smoothly and I love it. The second pen I picked up was the Pilot Friction pen. And the reason I chose this one is because it's an erasable pen and a really great one by the way. It just didn't really leave anything behind and I was super impressed. The writing experience isn't as smooth as a gel pen but then it's kind of expected with erasable pens. The last pen that I picked up was the Uni Jetstream pen, and the reason for that is because it came in 0.7 millimeters, and I really wanted to try a thicker pen this time, and all I can say is that it's one of the smoothest pens I've ever used. Besides buying new things, I also needed to stock up on some things that I already had, such as the Tombow Fidenowski brush pens. I've had mine for about two years, so I thought it was the time to replace them. I also had to buy replacements for my all-time favorite pen, the Pentel Energel X. Of course, instead of buying the pen body, all I bought are refills because that's cheaper and less wasteful. Probably the most essential thing I needed to go back to school were some notebooks, and so I bought quite a few this year, and they were in the size B5 and came with lined paper. I've realized that B5 is probably the perfect size for notebooks, at least for me. It's just not too big and not too small. These notebooks came with a little strap that you could attach to the back to keep the pages secure, which was really nice. But most importantly, I needed to test out the paper and how smooth it was, and I can say that the writing experience experience on this notebook was 10 out of 10, so I totally recommend checking this out and maybe buying it for yourself. So far back to school this year, I really wanted to get a new pencil case. I've seen this one before in a lot of places and I loved the grid design and the pink accent color, so I decided to buy one for myself. I also really loved all the compartments that this pencil case had. It seemed really convenient that you could open it from the side, so I decided to give that a try. And I can say that it's one of the best layouts for pencil cases I've ever seen. One thing I didn't expect was the amount of things you could put in here. As you can see, I'm putting so much stuff in there and there's still a lot of empty space left. It's my favorite pencil case that I own now. It's just so perfect. The next thing that I got isn't exactly a back to school essential, it's just some washi tape, which obviously I didn't really need, but I really wanted it. I already had the standard size, so instead I got the slim version. They are beautiful, they have um, 12 pastel colors and they're just perfect. They also fit perfectly in my type dispenser, which was so nice. So they have really good quality and I love them. The next thing I bought were the Tombow Mono Erasers. I wanted to try out some new erasers besides the Sakura Arc eraser that I had, and these ones were so perfect. They were probably even better than the Sakura eraser. They were also quite affordable, and they just did an amazing job, so I totally recommend checking them out if you're looking for a new eraser. I also picked up some correction tape because I had to run out of the one I was using before. This one has a little thing you can flip so it doesn't run in your pencil case, which is pretty convenient. It works relatively well. I mean, I've used better correction tapes before, but it gets the job done, so um, I'm pretty happy with it. 
Moving on, the next thing that I bought are some Zebra My Liners. So recently, Zebra came out with these limited edition packs, and I thought they would be a great way to replace my original My Liners because I've been using mine for a few years now, and so I figured that some of my favorite colors would run out sometime soon. And um, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that the limited edition were somehow different. They had different shades because it just seem that way in the picture but after ordering them I compared them to the original my liner and I can say that the colors are unfortunately exactly the same but I love their designs so I'm not complaining at all the next thing I picked up were a few pastel sticky notes that I bought from Amazon. They came in a pack of six and um, they were pretty nice. The only thing is that some of the colors aren't exactly pastel, they are more neon, which is what I was trying to avoid when I specifically ordered pastel ones, but they're okay I guess. I also bought two file folders from Miniso, so I don't really know if the design is too childish, but these were the only cute ones that they had. The first one is holographic with a geometric heart design on it, and then the second one is like a diamond design, but also has a holographic effect. I know the design probably looks super middle school, but honestly, my stationery in middle school was really not cute at all, so I guess I'm making up for it now. Please don't come for me in the comments. The next thing that I picked up is from Miniso as well, and that is a to-do list pad in a really nice pastel pink color. The design is super cute, and I've wanted one of these for a really long time. So you can write the date here, seven to-do tasks, and also there's a little space at the bottom for memos and notes. I feel like this is a lot cuter than a to-do list on a random piece of paper, and I love using it. If you've watched at least a few of my videos, you probably know that I like to use a binder notebook for my notes, and that binder notebook requires loose leaf paper that has 30 holes on it. Now usually I don't like to manually punch all these holes myself, and I just buy Kukuya Canvas loose leaf paper because it just comes with those 30 holes on it already. Also the paper quality is just out of this world, and I absolutely love using it. Moving on, the next thing that I bought is this three pack of notebooks from Miniso. So I'm not exactly sure why I even bought this. They were just super cute and um, they were also really convenient because the small one has dot grid pages, the middle one has grid pages, and then the bigger one has lined pages. So I can use that for journaling and then I can use these smaller notebooks for little notes and memos. So um, yeah, they were really cute and also kind of practical. I also ended up buying a lot of different stickers and index tabs and a lot of sticky things. I don't even know what these specifically are, but these are really convenient to use. I use them a lot to mark different pages in notebooks and binders because it just makes things faster for me. And I also got this really cute gradient post-it note because it was cute. That was the only reason. The next thing I picked up are a few different packs of stickers. They're not exactly essential for back to school, obviously, and I just bought them because they were really cute and I thought they would be a good way to spice up my notes. Um, the designs are really cute and also they were really good quality. And that wraps up the stationery haul portion of this video, so now let's move on to the more exciting part, which is the giveaway that I've prepared for back to school this year. So um, there are going to be two different winners, which means they will be also two different prizes. The first prize pack is this one right here. It includes everything you see on the screen, such as the pencil case from this video, a pack of zebra my liners, some washi tapes, some zebra sarasa pens, some notebooks, some stickers, and sticky notes. And then prize pack number two includes the following such as washi tapes, a pack of zebra my liners, Crayola super tips, a pencil case, a lot of different sticky notes and stickers. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is click the first link down below and you'll find all the details, rules and everything like that there. Best of luck with the giveaway! 
Before we wrap up this video, question of the day, let me know in the comments down below when are you guys going back to school this year or if you've gone back already, when did you go back? I'm going back on the 15th of September, so best of luck to all of us. I also want to give a shout out to Stationery Pal for sending some of these products to me and also making this year's back to school giveaway possible. If you want to buy some cute and affordable stationery, definitely consider checking them out. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please subscribe subscribe and also turn on your notifications and maybe give this video a like. Comment down below what videos you guys want to see for back to school this year and um, have a wonderful day. I'll see you super soon with another video. Bye!